Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News for October 31st, 2012. I'm David Knight, and here are our top stories. Tonight on the InfoWars Nightly News. On the heels of Hurricane Sandy, storm looters strike all over the Northeast. Plus, cops tase 10-year-old boy for refusing to clean the patrol car. And we have three powerful interviews. The first with Wade Hicks. Then David Ortiz interviews Gary Johnson, Libertarian candidate for president. And finally, David Knight interviews the New Jersey weed man who was recently acquitted of all charges due to jury nullification. All this and more on tonight's InfoWars Nightly News. Although we were criticized by the Daily Beast and the Atlantic for reporting that people were tweeting about looting in the wake of uh, Hurricane Sandy, now they're tweeting about what they actually looted. In the article, Shameless Looters Display Stolen Goods on Twitter, they're using the hashtag Sandy Loot Crew, and people are bragging about what they've taken and organizing for more looting as they said they were going to do. And we are accused of fear-mongering by the Atlantic and the Daily Beast, and they went even further to try to debunk the idea that looting was ever a serious problem. Now, although some of these are possibly hoaxes and some of the others were possibly hoaxes, I think there's some real stuff going on here because another article that we have today on InfoWars says, looters plague hurricane victims post Sandy. Actually, there's widespread looting that is undergoing in both Atlantic City and quite a bit in New York City. Uh, but of course, now you can believe it because the mainstream media is reporting it. Also in hurricane news, Obama ordered the DHS to control hurricanes. This is another story that we have reported and taken criticism for. And yet, as Melissa Moulton pointed out, we actually have the documents archived by the Washington Post showing that NOAA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, acknowledged three things. One, that the Project Storm Fury existed. Uh, InfoWars has interviewed many times in the past uh, Ben Livingston, a former Navy physicist who briefed President Johnson on the effectiveness of weather control back in the 1960s. And Livingston asserts that hurricane control was a national priority of the government more than 40 years ago and that the technology is fully operational control weather at the time. Also interesting in this document is the fact that NOAA has refused to participate in DHS's HAMP program. That's a Hurricane Aerosol and Microphysics program. In doing that, they turned down a $64 million project, and they've had their funding cut every year since. Now, the question I have, possibly you have too, is why is the Department of Homeland doing hurricane research? Are they just megalomaniacs trying to get their tentacles in every aspect of the government? I and mean, that's something we should worry about, because wherever the DHS goes, we lose due process, we lose our freedoms, and they get more bureaucratic power. Or are they getting involved because they want to make disasters that they can then use as pretenses for gaining more power for the central government? Well, we could do a whole program on cops with tasers. And we have two articles today that were in the news. The first one is an accidental tasering. A toddler was accidentally tasered by a San Diego police officer. Now, this officer shot his taser to bring down a fleeing suspect and one of the barbs actually hit a three-year-old girl. Uh, he did not pull the trigger and shock her, uh, but she was stuck with it nevertheless. Um, but, you know, tasering has become such a common thing, it, it's really disturbing. And this next story is extremely disturbing. In this case, an officer, a cop, the title is Cops Taser 10-Year-Old Boy for Refusing to Clean a Patrol Car. This officer was demonstrating what police do on school career day. And what he did was he told this 10-year-old uh, boy to clean out his patrol vehicle. And Officer Chris Webb, according to the lawsuit, is claimed to have stated, let me show you what happens to people who did not listen to the police when the 10-year-old boy refused to clean out the police vehicle. He then pointed the taser at the boy, according to the report, fired two barbs directly into the 10-year-old's chest electrifying him and causing him to black out. He then extracted the barbs from the child's chest, leaving scarring that looked, quote, like cigarette burns. And instead of calling emergency medical personnel, Officer Webb pulled out the barbs and took the boy to the school's principal's office. Now, 
I, I guess it's just really hard to understand how a cop could be that calloused that he could do that to a 10-year-old boy. I mean, what kind of a power trip has a sociopath got to be on to do something like that? The amazing thing to me is that there's nothing about the police department disciplining this person. I mean, he shouldn't be disciplined. He shouldn't be suspended. He needs to be fired, if not jailed, for doing something like that. But what we have, it also states in the article, police guidelines on tasers state that the weapons must only be used as a last resort when an officer is under direct threat. But we're seeing this constantly. Earlier uh, this month here in Austin, we had a man who was having a seizure tasered by the police. And uh, that sent him into cardiac arrest, and he has permanent brain damage from that. Another lawsuit is being fired with that. But is, is it too much to ask that we have rules of engagement that are actually enforced against police officers that these tasers not be used like electronic whips on those of us who aren't police officers? And finally today, we have a report on Gary Johnson. Um, Gary Johnson is the subject of a poll in uh, Colorado, and it looks like he may actually be hurting Obama in Colorado. Part of the reason for that is a very popular uh, ballot initiative in Colorado on, med on, mar on marijuana. It's not medical marijuana. There's been a lot of ballot issues on medical marijuana, but this one is actually on marijuana itself and would allow the use of marijuana even for recreational purposes. It's such a popular ballot issue in Colorado that pollsters believe that it may hurt Obama with young people. And of course, Gary Johnson is expected to pull support from many Republicans and uh, libertarians who supported Ron Paul. The thing that makes this interesting is that Colorado is one of the closest races in the nation. Uh, both Obama and Romney are tied at 48% each. So Gary Johnson is gonna have a big effect on that. And we have an interview with uh, Gary Johnson and David Ortiz is uh, talking to him about the election and what's, what their goals are for this election. We'll be going to that interview with Gary Johnson after our interview with Wade Hicks. And that brings us to our quote of the day. Ideas are the great warriors of the world, and a war that has no idea behind it is simply a brutality. That's James A. Garfield. Well, today is October 31st, and we've got zombies on the cover of the new InfoWars magazine, so uh, we've got our second installment of our zombie footage here. We've actually got hidden cameras of real zombies. We're gonna to go to that video and then we'll be right back after a short break. Florida is good, the chemtrails are great. Mainstream media, they tell the truth. Fluoride is good for you. The Federal Reserve is good for us. Chemtrail big. They smell good. Good for air. GMO food good. Obama tell the truth. Romney save country. Mainstream media tell the truth. Obama. Romney. Vaccines. Good. Good. Television. Good. Rom Romney. Vaccines, GMO, good, good. Obama, he buy me phone. Obama buy me phone, good. I vote Obama, he give us phone. He gonna do more. Keep Obama in president, you know. Yeah. Obama phone, good. You disability? You welfare, food stamp, you get free phone. Obama, another four year. Romney sucks. Bad. Obama, good. Romney, good. GMO, good. Fluoride, good for teeth. TSA, gropey, good. TSA, stick hand in my pants for safety. Drones overhead, good. Vaccine in arm. Good. Mainstream media tell you truth. Nuke Iran. Good. Romney nuke Iran. Obama support unconstitutional Patriot Act. Romney support NDAA. Good. Obama support that too. 
Romney Medicare, good. Obama Medicare, good. Drones, Romney, good. Drones, Obama, good. Romney, good. Obama, good. Romney, good. Obama, good. Romney, good. Romney, good. Romney, good. Romney, good. presentation you have just witnessed is a test. Are you conscious? Are you aware that you are being manipulated? Or have you descended into a dreamlike zombie state that much of the public is suffering from? In the power-packed November issue of InfoWars magazine, we detail with the scientific facts in four separate articles the proof that the public is being brainwashed our brainwaves are lowering, our IQs are dropping, and we are being turned into nothing more than biological androids. You can buy copies of InfoWars magazine at cost in bundles of 10 up to 100 and give them to your friends and family. It's time to shake humanity out of the trance that they're in. And the November issue of InfoWars magazine is designed to do just that. Sign up for a subscription or secure copies at cost in bulk today at InfoWarsStore.com.